What's up fellow Genshin F2Ps and Swipeys, it's your boy Josh, and today we're here to show you how to get to the Aeon Blight Drake. Now this boss is actually pretty easy to actually get to. What you're going to do is you're going to teleport to this waypoint here, and you're going to go within this particular hole. Now there is another hole right below. You guys don't want to go to that hole, you guys want to go to the hole on top, no pun intended. Uh, and you guys are going to climb over here, and thank god I have C1 Yelon who makes this trip way, way easier. And you guys are going to go all the way over here, and it's going to bring you to this whole Colosseum-esque area. Here, the little mech chicken is sleeping, and we are ready to take it down. So he's going to load up, he looks pretty cute. Look at him go. Look at him. Ow, wow. He kind of hits. This guy is pretty tanky as well. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty solid. Uh, I know the other boss is not as tanky from what I remember. Let's activate that. Uh-oh, switch here. Man, Kuki Shinobu doesn't even have a rolt yet. That's interesting. As Dendro Resist Increase. Interesting. Well, first off, we have to target some of these and target some of those. Dragon Slayer. That's a really cool uh, name for an achievement. And then all you guys are going to do from here is just lay into him. And there you go, guys. That is the Aeon Blight Drake. Uh, there's no quest or anything needed. Um, I assumed early on at the very, very beginning that you would need to finish the r, &R quest. In particular, the r, &R quest that is involved with the Ruin Guard. Uh, there are a bunch of little Ruin Guards around where you can insert little rocks uh, into and then get like an achievement and stuff. But... Uh, you don't need to access any of that. All you guys have to do is go through the hole in the wall, and then you guys get access to this boss. The Perpetual Caliber is the character level up material, and uh, it's, it's pretty good. Energy recharge, EM, crit damage, not bad, not bad. So there you guys go. If you found this video helpful, make sure you guys slap a like, share it around with your friends, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more informational Genshin content. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.